What's up, everybody? Big, big facts. So, yes, sir. It looks like I'm going to be the first to talk on this subject. I was waiting for somebody else. I was waiting for the other blogs to pick it up, but they, but don't nobody seem to have a clue. Money, ya, ya, ya. Money, ya, ya is leaving clues, and y'all ain't picking up on it. Well, I'm going to pick up on it and tell you what I think about it. Money Yaya has been putting on her story, Instagram stories, that she's moving out. When she first did it, I saw a lot of clothes. She posted a lot of clothes that she was going to be packing up. And it was a lot, too. And now she has on her Instagram story a, a, a crying emoji, sad emoji. And a bunch of big boxes. So she's moving out. And she don't want to go. And then I see another picture of her. Looking sad. And I don't know if that's a tear or a shadow. But she's looking like she was crying. Or about to cry. Or been crying. She's looking stressed. And there's rumors out. Saying that she's pregnant. People are saying she looked like she got a little baby bump in her latest Instagram picture. It looks like a baby bump. And she says, I'm the best for you, and it is what it is. I, I wish she'd leave that NBA young boy. It, it, she ain't talking about nobody but NBA young boy. And this NBA young boy, ain't he married? This man got about, he got a whole family already living with him. Multiple girlfriends. And she talking about I'm the best for you. In my opinion, she talking about NBA young boy. And, uh, that, that is, gonna, that ain't nothing but disaster. NBA young boy it's nothing but disaster. <laughs> He's a disaster. He's not in no shape to be messing with multiple women. I mean, he's still over there in where, Grave Digger Mountain. I mean, he, he, he can mess with multiple women, but this man is not is not mentally stable to have a healthy relationship with a female. He was just cursing Money Yaya out. What, about a couple months ago? <laughs> Calling her a bad name. The man got issues. The man probably do all types of drugs. You know. And we know he do. He do. We know he does drugs, you know. Let's not pretend he don't do drugs, but. At some point, Ayana Mayweather, you got to grow up. At some point, you got to grow up. You got to... Somebody got to knock on your forehead and say, Hello, McFly. Anybody home? Hello, McFly. You can't be stupid forever. Now, we all are young. We all were young and stupid at one point. But we all wake up at some point too. And Ayana, you got to wake up. You're a grown woman. It looks like Floyd is kicking her out. Because the, the crying emoji is telling me she don't want to go. But she's being forced to go. Looks like Floyd is kicking her out. And Floyd is up in Greece somewhere with his other daughter. You know... It's funny how, you know, Floyd is petty like that. So he's going to reward his other daughter and his other daughter ready to come home. She don't like Floyd like that. She don't like being with Floyd like that. She won't even put him on her uh, YouTube. I don't know what kind of deal that is. I don't know if, if Floyd told her, don't put me on your YouTube channel or whatever. But it don't seem like 
she's she's a daddy girl. She don't seem like a daddy's girl. Money Yaya is more of a daddy's girl. And the other girl, she don't seem like a daddy's girl. She seemed like she was more of a mommy's girl. But Floyd is taking took her to Greece, you know. And I'm pretty sure Jaira wants to be somewhere with her friends. I don't, you know, she went along with it, but I'm pretty sure. Jaira's personality, she wants just want to be a young teenager, want to be with her friends. You know, I get that vibe from her. She don't want to be stuck on the daddy. I just get that vibe from her. I may be wrong, but that's the vibe I get. But she already, she already posted she ready to come home. So uh, my vibe is right. You know, she she posted she ready to come home. She want to see her nephew, KJ. But let's get back to money, yeah, yeah. Ayana Mayweather. My opinion, I could be wrong, but I think she's pregnant again. Young, NBA young boy talking about he want to get money. Ayana pregnant again, and she probably messed around and got pregnant again, messing with that fool. And it's like two fools in lust. This is not love. This is lust. Two fools in lust with each other. And so now she's being kicked out the house. She's distressed about it. Pregnant, my opinion. This is not validated. I'm not this is not validated or nothing. I don't have no sources. But uh she looks stressed. She's pregnant and she got to get out of that house. Floyd kicked the, kicking her out. Cause Floyd like Floyd like this. Floyd treat his daughters like his women. Floyd is not a great parent, you know. Just because you spoil your kids, don't make you a great parent. Just because you got money and you give your kids money and all this, don't make you a great parent, bro. Especially when they grown. Especially if you don't have God. Especially if you're not teaching them guidance. Especially if, you know, to go along with the money you're giving them. And you're not teaching them responsibility. You're just giving them money. And you're not teaching them. You're not, you don't have no, you're not having any type of guidance. Not setting any type of guidance standards for them. You know, just because you give them money, bro. It's not, that don't make you a great parent at all. You know, this is this is bad. You know, you got to set your kids up for success in life. S them spending dad's money is not success. You're handicapping your children. And I think it looks like Floyd, I'm I, I'm not in their life, huh? You know, but from from the outside looking in, it looks like he's handicapped. He handicapped all his kids. He didn't guide them right. Ain't none of them in college. It looked like Floyd didn't stress, and and now on not only Floyd but the mother has to say so too. You know. The mother had the, the their mothers had to say so, but since uh, the other kid's mother died, it look it looks like they lost, they lost, and Floyd is not helping guide them at all. From what it looks like, they out, they lost in the south out, out out in the world. None of them don't seem to be in college. I could be wrong. But I go on their Instagram, I don't see nothing about no school, nothing. Money yaya.
Same thing. She could have went to college. Nothing. What they doing? What they doing all day? Spending daddy's money. And daddy allow and daddy let them do it. Come on, bro. If you love your kids, you'll set your kids up for success. You give them, you know, you guide them to where they can depend on their self. To where they can make their own money. See, none of these kids are making their own money. And they're all in their twenties. None of them are making their own money. They should be making their own money. They should have went to school. Got a career. And learned how to make their own money. None of them are doing it. Club appearances don't count. Having a club appearance here and there don't count. You know. Money, y'all, y'all can go out there and make our own money. She can go out there and try to get a show deal, a TV show deal, or something. She needs to learn how to feed herself. Floyd did her a disservice by not teaching her how to fish. You know, like Jesus say. I can give you fish, but I can teach you how to be fishers of men. So, you don't want to feed the fish. You don't want to feed people fish all the time. You want to teach them where they can feed themselves and not depend on you. And it seems like to me Floyd likes for them to be the he likes to have that over their head like, okay, you ain't got nothing, you ain't got me. If you ain't got me, what what you going what you going to do? It seems like Floyd wants them to be dependent on him. That's what it seems like. But they grown though. You got to put the blame on them too. Cuz they grown and they could have went out there and got it on their own and not and have some pride about themselves and not just living to spend daddy's money. Ayana could have had her own apartment. Could have had her own place. Those boys. All them kids. All them kids should be able to have their own place and make their own money. Well, you know, Jira may be college age. You know, they need to go to school. What they doing? I mean, because once daddy get mad at you, his boxes need to be packed up. Get out. Get out. Pack your box. Pack your clothes in them boxes. You out of here. That's what he going to do. He's going to kick all of you out. All of you out. Make him mad. Don't do what he want. You got to go. My way or the highway. So where you going to go? You going to go back to NBA, young boy? That's a disaster waiting to happen all over again. That man got too many women. You don't need to be over there. Because you may end up in prison this time. Mm -mm. That's not a healthy environment for your kid. To raise a kid. And why would you settle for that? See, and and I got to blame Floyd again. Because he didn't lead by example when he raised his daughters. You know what I'm saying? Like he didn't teach his daughters how to be independent women, strong, classy women. You know? He didn't guide his daughters in the right direction. He treated his daughters like his women. You can't do that, bro. You can't do that. 
You know, they part of the harem. It seems like he want his daughters to be part of part of his harem or something. Like they not supposed to have a life. They not supposed to have a a a, a boyfriend or you know a man or whatever. They supposed to just be up on a daddy their whole life. Seems like that's how he want it. He want his daughters to be up on him his whole life. If I was his daughters, I would try to make my own money. I would get out there, make my own, go to school, if, you know, learn a, learn something, learn a trade, learn something, learn a skill. I mean, you got the name, you got the fame. It shouldn't be hard to go out there and make your own, make a living, make your own money. You got the follow, you got the Instagram clout, especially Yaya. She got the clout to go out here and make her own money. Oh yeah, of course it's not gonna be dad money, but still, you on your own, you independent. You got your own, you doing you doing this, you doing that. Now nobody can't tell you nothing. And Floyd will respect that. Floyd will respect that. Cause you ain't dependent on him no more. He will respect it. You got to get out here and hustle, you know. You was born with a silver spoon in your mouth. But I'm saying that silver spoon can get cut off at any time because you're a grown woman now. You know. And you got a child. And you might be having another baby. Come on, man. You can't be stupid your whole life. You got to grow up. You got to some, you know. Don't be stupid your whole life. Wake up. Wake up. You know. Floyd didn't raise these girls to. Choose uh, uh, the right man. You know. First of all you got to. Instill instill some dignity in your in your children. You get, you know what I'm saying. Show them that they can be anything they want to be. Take them around. Stress about education. You know. Stress about uh, the importance of education and. Furthering your education on stress, but even though you didn't do it, and it seems to me Floyd feels like I didn't go to school. I ain't gonna stress for them to go. I, I didn't. You didn't have to go. You was a boxer. They not box. They not athletes, bro. Of course you didn't have to go, but they not you. They need a higher. They need a foundation. They need a higher education. They don't need to be dependent on you. For your money. Because you just going to enslave them. And get mad. And when you get mad you're going to kick them out to the curb. That's why y'all y'all packing up boxes now. Uh uh. Daddy wouldn't do me like that. I would have found a way. To be independent. And you and you know. And now, and now when you independent. You can do what you want. Have as many kids as, kids as you want. And nobody shouldn't have nothing to say, even though we, we the fans are gonna say, Oh, why are you messing up your life messing around with NBA young boy? Why she doing that? Why she having all these babies? You know, we're gonna talk shit, but nobody can't tell you shit because you making it you su- supplying for yourself, you supplying for you, you independent. You standing on your own two feet, making it happen. Can't nobody kick you out. Can't nobody cut off your allowance and all that. You making your own money, yeah. You on some grown woman shit. You know. You know. And I don't know why she chose the man she chose. Well, I I don't I don't care. I don't well, you would think 
but Floyd is you would think her born rich she would have better choices of men to choose from I don't know it's all about how you carry yourself if you carry yourself like a hood chick that's what you're going to attract hood dudes and she carries herself like a hood trick chick and she like she like she like well she like hood dudes she got with the wrong well it is what it is it is what it is these girls don't want to be saved they won't they go for the most reckless fool they could find you know most reckless food they can find. And so. She go over there with NBA young boy. It's going to be trouble. NBA young boy going to have to set her up. In her own place. Separate. From the rest of the. Of the squad over there. If she do go back to him, he's going to have to set her up in her own place. And that probably still ain't going to work, but she can't be around those other women. That ain't going to work. You know. But, uh. Somehow I think Floyd carried his other daughter on that trip just to spite money, yeah, yeah. Because, I don't know, Floyd posting pictures. Floyd ain't never, well, yeah, Floyd has posted pictures before of his daughter, of both his daughters. He does it some, from time to time. But some just tells me he doing, he, he, he rubbing it in. This this my favorite daughter. Because I always felt money, yeah, yeah, was Floyd's favorite daughter. I always felt that that was his favorite child. His firstborn child. And I always thought she's his favorite because don't I see her do what no other child can do, seems like. It seems, I see her post him. He don't seem to mind being posted by Yaya. He don't he gets on Yaya Instagram. I, I never saw him get on the other kids' Instagram, but he gets on Yaya's Instagram, and you know he see, he don't seem to mind. And it seems like I said, she's more of a daddy's girl. I think she's Floyd's favorite. I really do. But she's not in favor with him now. <laughs> she's not in favor with him now. It seems like, and Floyd may be, you know. Trying to suck her up to uh, his other daughter now. Just to spite Yaya. Or just to try to make Yaya jealous. Because Floyd's petty like that. You know, probably feeling this other daughter here. Where you're, you're going to take over the company. I'm going to give it all to you. You know, y- y- Yaya. Man, I, I can't. Y- man, Yaya ain't. She just. Her head ain't in the right place. I'm, I'm going to give it all to you. You know, you seem to have a good head on your shoulder. You know, uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm 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 gonna get, I'm gonna leave it all to you. You know, as long as you uh don't don't pick no knucklehead dude to be with, get pregnant. You know, the empires. You know, you can run all my empires. You know, it, it, you know, Flo- I can hear Floyd saying that to his other daughter. <laughs> oh man, just cause his other daughter. She's not wild. She's not. She's not uh, making wild, drastic decisions like y'all. Y'all. She's not. I haven't seen her picking a disaster of a boyfriend like uh, y'all. Y'all has, and getting pregnant, just being reckless. But anyway, that's it, man. Hopefully, everything turn out okay. Peace.